Okay, so um, I'm just moving across from this morning's N plus one on uh, doing this book sample, and I'm going to try and load it up on the Mac just so I can do some uh, some uh, uh, better designs for the Mac UI. And you can see straight away when we drag it over to the Mac, um, then what happens is when you first load it up, you get problems because you can't load the Windows Phone and you can't load the. Um, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Um, and you can't load the store um, projects, um, but apart from that, you should be up and running without any problems. Um, so when you load it up as well, you'll notice that the default configuration that's set um, doesn't have everything loaded. So if you choose uh, debug iPhone, then you'll see you don't have core loaded. Um, so to work around that, what you do is you choose the option for the solutions, which you can also do from the project menu, and you choose options for it. And somewhere in configurations, you'll find that, you know, within sort of we on debug iPhone simulator, then what you'll discover is you just need to load up books.core as well. And then when you click OK, you just need to refresh the screen to bring it back in. So refresh. And now we've got books.core and books.touch. So if we build that, then hopefully it builds OK. Um, it's saying there's a problem with system.net. Um, and that's just to do with the fact that we have to add references for these guys. Um, so let me see what to do. Um, so what we're going to have to do is let's just edit the project file. So again, it's just a bit fiddly that you have to do this, but it's what you have to do at the moment when you don't have um, you don't have the full portable glass library support yet. So what we'll do is source code editor for the project. I'm going to open it up. And all we're going to do, quite literally, is grab hold of this guy. And in the item references, we're just going to add a reference. Include. And let's just include a few. Um, and we'll include, hopefully I've done this right, system. If not, I'm sure I'll find it very quickly. System, system.core. I think that's all I need actually, just those two might just do it on their own. So let me save that and then this guy hopefully, well I'll sew those, it shows them in red because it's not got proper portable glass. And then when we build, so that now builds, yeah so it's a bit fiddly to do but it does work. Um, and then we should be able to build hopefully books.touch. Um, and this is showing that there's a problem with the project settings. So again this is just saying iOS executable name as an invalid character and we got away with it on the PC but we don't get away with it here so we go to the options for the project and what you'll find is in output it's just saying the, the assembly is books.touch just change that to books touch so it doesn't have the full stop in it the period and then hopefully we can run it build it yep so that now builds and hopefully we can actually run it on the local simulator so there are a couple of steps there to actually get it you know working which were a bit fiddly but hopefully you can see it does work and if we type in mono touch then hopefully it's going off to the network and it's finding those books for us yeah so it's pulled those books back but this is the ugly ui that we want to try and replace and that's what this n plus one this little brief recording is going to be about so what we do is we stop that run because we don't want it running and then what I'd like to just do is to try and make it a bit prettier. So if we take a look at our view, what we've got at the moment for this first view, um, and let me just see if I can zoom in and remember the syntax for zooming in, something like an Apple Plus, Control Plus, I really must get to learn my uh, zoom in. So yeah, it's Apple Plus, I don't know why that's not working. So this is our view at the moment, and you can see all that we've got is we've got this standard table view source, which has just banned the title text, nothing else. Um, and we've got this, you know, not very exciting um, UI. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to replace it with a more meaningful um, cell. So what we'll do is we'll just go over here and we'll do add new file. And we've got all these options here, and the one we'd like to choose is an iPhone table view cell. And what we'll call it is a book cell. We do new, and what that does is it generates this C sharp. It generates the designer C sharp you can see there. And again, we can zoom in on this window, which is quite cunning actually. We should be able to, Control Shift Plus. Okay, I can't zoom in on it, but I thought I can. 
Apple Shift Plus. So yeah, you can zoom in on this window as well, as you can see. Um, so we've got the, the main window, we've got the designer one, and then we've also got the zip. So if we double click the zip, it will open it up for us in Xcode. And there it is. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to make this a bit bigger. So I'm going to do this from the code windows rather than dragging from these property windows. So what we'll do is we'll give it a property. Currently it's 44. Let's just double that to 88. You can see that does that. And then we're going to put an image on it because we want the image. So let's find the image. There's our image view. Um, and we'd like to drag that obviously in as a child. We shouldn't have just put it in at the top level. So let's get a hold of that image view and drag it in. And also just make sure it is a child there. Um, and what should we do with this image view? Um, let, let's do what it's, it's kind of suggesting what we should do. So let's make it 88 high so that it fills the uh, thing. Um, and then, yeah, let's leave it in the middle there. No, it's, it's an ugly design. I'm not going to do that. Let's put it on the right hand side for once. So what we'll do is we'll leave it at um, wh where it is in terms of it. Should, oh, I see. It's, we're going to leave it in the middle, which is what it's doing. Um, and we are going to position it so that it's actually half of the, the width of the cell, which is going to be 160 because we're always dealing with 320. And um, we'll put it over on the right hand side. So this is center coordinated at the moment. So there it is, it's on the right hand side. And then what we'd also like to do is we'd like to add some labels. So we've got one label, I think, for the title. So we'll drag that in here. And we'll position that so it's there. And we'll make it a bit more solid. So we'll choose the font and make it bold. You can choose other fonts as well, obviously. And we'll just make it a little bit taller. Um, and make it there. And then we'd also like to add another label. So I'll drag that in. And this is going to be for the authors. So we'll leave that the same size, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And that's for the authors. So then the remaining thing that we have to do is actually just hook this up. And if you saw the earlier demos, then you know what we do is we show the assistant editor and then we add these things called outlets, whatever they are, to the owning cell. So this is the first one. This is going to be the authors, the author label. Uh, the next one is going to be the title label. And unlike where we were dealing with the, um, you know, in Blend, we had kind of a nice design surface, but we had uh, demo data. Here we don't have that, but you can see it's pretty easy to generate a nice UI just using the designer. So we will then do our image, and this is going to be the main image. Connect them all up. If we save this, and then hopefully exit, so I'll just exit Blend, uh, not Blend, Xcode, so it goes away. Then when we come back, we should see that in our designer file, this bookcell.designer, we've added in those things for each of those guys. So what we then need to do is this book cell at the moment is a UI table view cell. We want to change that to MVX table view cell. And then we're going to use, I think it's Alt Enter. Yes, Alt Enter brings up that kind of band-aid, which allows you to just drag in the right fields. And then what we'd like to do is add some binding for this. So what we're going to do is this dot um, delay bind. And again, hopefully we can get that from uh, the Alt Enter suggestion to bring up the right namespace for delay bind. And what we're going to do in the delay binding is we're going to bind those three things. So to do that, what we do is we do a var set equals this dot create binding set. Um, and the binding set is obviously going to be from a book cell. And it's going to be two, one of those list items that we had in the previous thing. And those list items are each instances of one of these guys, a book search item. So let's just do it. Book search item. And again, we should be able to pull that in using an out and a enter. So we create a binding set. And that's just one of those. And then what we do is we want to actually um, add some bindings to it. So we're going to bind. And the first thing we're going to bind is our label. So that is our, not our main image. We'll do images again in a second. So the first thing we're going to bind is our main label. And that was the title label. Done. And we're binding that to, and so it's to a 
item and we'll use the uh, power of IntelliSense to work it out and it's in the volume info and I think it's title and then we need to bind the next thing which is our um, auto label and we need to bind that to item oops item and this is going to be bound to the volume the, the author summary is what it's bound to yeah and then the final thing we need to do is set up the image and to do that as we showed in the earlier thing what we have to do is we have to add a image loader helper and so to do that again what we do is a private uh, and we may as well make it read only it's fine read only mvx image view loader underscore loader and what we'll do is we'll new one of those so it's a loader equals new an image view loader and what we do is we provide access to our image view which is main image so that's our loader and what we now need to do is bind it so what we do is set dot bind and we're binding our loader underscore loader and we're binding that to the item oops again it's IntelliSense jumping ahead of me we're binding it to the item and this is item dot volume info dot image links dot small thumbnail that's what we're binding it to and then the very last thing is we have to apply that set so you can see that's our binding setup we can now close that and we finished with our cell yeah and then all we need to do is back in the uh, first view where we have this standard table view source we're now going to reduce that down because we don't want to use a standard cell we just want to use a single tail so we can only go down to a simple table view source and what simple view table view says takes as its arguments is the nib name and for that we can simply get that from the um, the cell itself so we go book cell dot and I think it's called key and we then want the cell identifier and again we just use book cell dot key for that and that should now actually just load up and use that cell so let's see whether or not that works uh, one thing we haven't do, done sorry is we did change the height of our rows so what we need to do is table view dot row height equals and I think we set it to 88 and now we've done that hopefully what we should be able to do is if we start debugging it again hopefully it'll build haven't made any mistakes should go off and run comes up as books.touch and hopefully now if I now search for Xamarin again oops Xamarin then it goes off to the network obviously it's making too many hits um, but it should eventually come back with Um, Xamarin hits so you can see they're not the prettiest of images that it's come back with and indeed it doesn't look like it's actually come out with Xamarin in the end it's come back with titanium and things um, so let me just uh, try refreshing it a little bit let me just ah, so here we go we go back and we have actually got these guys so perhaps we shouldn't have used thumbnail perhaps we should have used the full one um, we can try that if you like you can see it's pretty ugly in terms of the way it's done these um, so let me just go back and see whether or not you know you could have tweak these things in the book cell if instead of using the thumbnail we'd use the bigger one so thumbnail rather than small thumbnail then if we go back and we stop it and we run it up then actually also let me just um no no I'll just run it up it should be fine start debugging all I was going to do then was play with the the dampening but I can wait for another exercise so we're going to run this up we get Xamarin loaded um, and instead of that let's look for iPhone so again it's making too many network hits doing this but it is making them it's coming back it's hopefully deserializing and you can see these are better thumbnails it's using now if you want to change the way it stretches those images those are also possible um, and obviously we'd, we'd find a way of hiding the keyboard as well so I hope you can see that's how you'd make it a nicer UI for your cells you could probably do better yet and you know arrange this text better maybe use multi-line um, but there you go um, I just wanted to follow up with a very quick uh, n plus one and a half on uh, making the image cell better I um, hope that's good 
and uh, I will try and do a bit more on the uh, on the Mac soon as well. Okay, cool.